Hi, I'm making a quick video to show you how to create an integrated form in Google Forms. And what I love about Google Forms is that the it's so easy to set up, but also the responses are automatically put into an Excel spreadsheet. And let me show you what that looks like. So here's an example of a form that I've used in the past, a blog post syndication form. And here's what the response form looks like. And I haven't had to create this. Google has generated this automatically. So if you look here, let me open it up so you can see it. This is a pretty simple form, but it's a blog post syndication. I'm going to show you how to set this up in a second. There's different options here, a title here, and then this is what it looks like on the back end. So this one, we haven't used this one to fill in. This is just an example for the video. But you'd hear you get the date and timestamp of when someone's filled in the form the blog post title, URL, and any of the other fields along here. So really, really handy. So let me go back and let me show you how to create a form. So that's how forms work and how they look on the back end. So down here, so I'm logged into Google Docs slash forms, as you can see at the top here. And you see here we're in forms. Click on the plus button here to create a form. Very, very easy. So here we are, here's our untitled form. So I'm gonna call this application form and this is our first question here so I'm going to just do a really basic one and ask for name um, you can put help text here if you want to put any notes uh, please enter your first and last type name and here's where you choose the type of response that people can put so you can have um, if you put text you just get a short box like this if you say paragraph text, that's a much longer box with, with more characters. Multiple choice, you can see here you can um, have different multiple choices. And look at this, this is really cool. So if you've got multiple choice, if you say, um, would you like A or B, um, you can actually direct people to a particular page based on the answer. So let's say, for example, that we were saying here, are you interested in Facebook? let's say here, let's call this social media training. Which training are you interested in? Um, and you could have here Facebook, and this one would be Twitter. And what you can do is you can actually select a page to go to based on the answer. So if someone fills in the form and they choose Facebook, then um, you can take them to a particular page um, and if they pick Twitter you can take them to a particular page so that's really really useful. You've got check boxes so this is where people are allowed to pick more than one option. Choose from a list if you want people to you know if you say what do you think about my new uh, tagline for my business A, B or C then people can pick from a list and there's some other things on here too scale, grid, date and time so lots of different things you can do so I'm going to leave this as check boxes here and I'm just going to click on done. Um, to add the next item, you click on Add Item. And let's just do another one here just to, for the purposes of demonstration. So question title, um, what's your favorite? Actually, I'm gonna do a different one. Um, what's your favorite social media platform at the moment? And again, I can put help text in there if I want to. And perhaps I'm just going to give them a list like this or I might just do text and people can just put one answer in there and I'll click on done. So there's my application form, I've got two questions on there and you can see here this literally is the form here. When you're ready um, you just click on send form and you've got two options you can either get the URL here so you can just copy that there or you can shorten it um, or you can get the embed code and if you click there you get the embed code and you can put that onto your website so really, really easy, and that's it. Now, once you've got your form set up, you can come in here, you can track how many responses there are, and you can see here it says view responses. So Google's now creating my Excel spreadsheet for my responses to go on, and there you'll see the date stamp. Um, I would actually add a field for somebody's name, <laughs> find out who they are. So timestamp, I'd have name, which social media training they're interested in, and then what's their so favorite social media platform. And all the responses just will be, um, well, they'll just appear here in these columns. So really, really easy. 
I'm hiring a tech VA at the moment. I'm using this as part of my application process. So I've got a page on my website with the job description. In fact, let me show you it now. That'd be the easiest thing to do. Um, and I've got a form on my website where I'm using an application form. So here we are, we're hiring. There's information there. And then here's the application form here. So there's different boxes there. I'm asking them to answer different questions and then submit. And as soon as somebody submits, their answers are going into a spreadsheet like this. So really handy. So I always used to think Google Forms was really complicated, but it's not actually. And you just imagine you can use this for all sorts of applications. Right, well, I hope that's been helpful. Let me know how you get on and I'll, uh, I'll see you online.